what are we doing? Are we looking at the truth? Okay, are we using inductive reasoning where we're seeing the data, we're making that statement based on our observations, the information that we're getting, and we can say, based on what I see right here, that is true. Or are we using deductive reasoning, you know, where we're trying to go from, you know, a main premise, your major premise, that example that validates that main premise so that we can give our final conclusion on it, right? So uh, the reason why I want you to go through um, that, that exercise on uh, chapter uh, page 101 is I really want you to feel out that practice of understanding what it means to create syllogisms and to be able to put things in a order and in a format where you can easily, and this is what's really cool about the practice, later when you see someone argue, you can instantly go, bro, that ain't right. Like, first of all, that's an entomeme because you <laughs> did not give me the warrant uh, for why you made this claim or this statement. So I hope this is opening up your eyes to really kind of go, dang. And I have to admit, you know, even in teaching the class every semester, something always pops up. I'm like, oh, I missed that, saw that. And so uh, keep working on this critical thinking and understanding um, what we're doing here when we're trying to decode uh, these statements. All right, sorry, hammered on enough. Thank you very much for <laughs> working with me on this one. And I will see you on the other side.